everybody. How are Hello you? From the UK. Good. I'm good. How are you? Okay. Before we go for Perv, let me tell you something about her. I mean, like, uh, she has been an inspiring woman to a lot of people into the, in the Bhangra industry. You might have seen a lot of other Bhangra and whole players in London or in UK, but she was the one to pioneer that. She belongs to a musical family, let me tell you, who has been into this trade of music and Bhangra for years. She is one of the first women Bhangra international artists to make her own group called Eternal Tal, which is a sponsor of the show today. She has been featured in three Bollywood movies, right? If I'm not wrong, Yamla Palla Diwana and so on. And you might have seen her on the screen. She is on the verge of having her own life converted into a bio-epic movie. And she has performed, you name it, any of the shows we talk about, with the O2 Arena, which is an LG arena now, and likewise, different places, different weddings, different shows, and miles and miles in Chicago, and Canada, and you name it. Dubai. When it comes to Bhangra, it's New York, uh, it's, it's, it's all Pearl. So we had Bennett like Beckham. Okay, so we might soon have it like Dhol like Pearl. So <laughs> Pearl, the mic is all yours. Tell me something about you and let everyone know what is bravery from your point of view and what makes you so brave to fight all those, you know, the rap singers, the DJs and everything in back, you know, in those closed circuits of UK. How did you come out of it? And what makes it so special that uh, everyone falls in love with your dhol? And I think so in, in down the line, we are going to hear something from you, right? Yes, uh, yes, perfect, of perfect. course. No dhol so today. So, so when, oh, whenever you see something good, you know, like just, just dhol it. I will, I will. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited about today. Um, you know, it, it's been a long 25 year journey. And for me, being brave is actually stepping out into a Bhangra male dominating industry. I actually didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you guys because I, I really did think that my dreams would be crushed because at every opportunity I had, every, everyone, not just men, were saying, this is not for you. I don't think dolls for you. I think you should just carry on studying. And I really didn't understand why I couldn't have a career in promoting Bhangra and, and just playing the doll. You don't need a DJ. You don't need a PA system. You don't need a mic. You need a dolly, you know? And <laughs> I started having brote in the morning and started to go to the gym to prove that I can play just as good as the lugs. And I think in the UK, it was a kind of a, a bit of a, you know, stereotypical kind of way yeah. of thinking, but all the groups around me were all men, Bhangra groups, singers, musicians, barmen, cameraman, DJ. And I was, I was looking like this. And, and, and when I started with my father, this is where Brave comes in. Um, my father is is in the Guinness Book World, World Records for yeah. starting Bhangra music in the UK. In the UK. So he started in 1967. He's a Guinness Book record holder. So obviously when I came in the 80s, he was like this cool Elvis looking Beatles band. And they had a, a group of 10 men. And I, I kind of picked my hand up when I was about 10 years old. Hi, Daddy. Uh, can I come to your gigs? And, and my mom was going, no. You can't turn her into a rock star. And I, I just wanted to be like him. He was so brave. He was going to gigs, international, you know, people were throwing their t-shirts at him. And I, kept, I went to one of his programs and it was just all men, men in the audience, men on the stage. And I turned to dad and said, train me, dad, train me to be brave and courageous like you. He was all right, all right. But he, he actually didn't believe I could, I could do it. So I sat him down and I said, Dad, I love your group. You know, the group is called Pachangi Group. They started in 1967. My dad is still singing till this day, uh, 56, seven years on. And I sat him down and I said, Dad, I want to start my own group. I want to start my own pioneering female doll group. Why can't I do that? He was like, no, 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 no. But no, 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 no. You, no one's going to take you seriously. No, 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 no. I was like, why? Why can't I do that? Why can't I perform at Glastonbury and BBC? He said, no one's going to take you seriously. And, and you he was were the featured one. on BBC, right? You were featured on BBC a couple of times. I saw that. Yeah, BBC even asked me, why? Why at all? And I was like, when you 
hear something, Bhangra, it's the doll. And I said to dad, I picked up all the singing, I know I tried to sing, but I can't. I picked up all the instrument, but the one instrument that everybody does this is the doll. And I thought, I know what, I know how people can take me seriously. I'm just going to start playing. And when my talent shone through, everything fell into place. Right? Everything fell into place. And 25 years on, I've got a career out of promoting Bhangra internationally. I teach 10 hours a week of trampoline Bhangra, normal Bhangra, doll classes, Asian DJs, everything female. I've got it in my little, in my little earth, in my hand. And that's, that's my beautiful. story. So now, today you're going to see you being a brave, an example of bravery also, you know, winning the world, winning the male dominating industry around you. What I really want to know is that what advice would you give to these brave artists today? The art worlds. I think so. You'll be seeing a lot of art worlds tonight and you'll get something to pick from your side as well. So what one thing would you like to say to these, these artists that what is bravery all about and you need to focus on that? Uh, firstly, I'm honored to be even sitting here with so many great artists. I was doing my research on Google and I was finding out what all these people were saying. And the fact that I'm here and, and the fact that people are going out there and, you know, showcasing their art is already the step up to the first step of the ladder. And I think Deepak Ji said that fear, fear will come on every step that you take. I had fear when I was going to college. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to fail my GCSEs. I'm going to fail my A-levels. My mind was streaming music. But if you've got the passion for something, don't stop. Keep going. Even if it takes you, some people, it takes one step. And some people it takes one step, but some people it takes loads of steps to get to where they are. And you can't, don't give up, don't crush your dreams. If you've got a passion, whether one person's watching you or a hundred people watching you, keep going. And bravery is all about keeping that legacy that Balbia Singh Pachangi group started in 1967. I'm gonna carry on for the next 50 years and so should they. Perfect. Thank you for those words, Perv. You've always been my fave when I saw you, when I heard you for the first time in Buck Pro and, uh, and then beyond that. So be, stay tuned with us. You want to play it right now? You, yeah, of you course. Give it a start? I, think, yeah. I think they all need that, to that, that should be great. That should be great. I'm going to try so, and come, come off my mic. Yeah. So everyone, look the way Perv plays the toe. Uh, my baby mic today baby doll okay so uh, you might want to close down your uh, speakers i'll do a little demo So that's just the beginning. Oh, you know, the best thing about the musicians and the players and the singers is that they need a lot of praise. If you really want to want them to get into rhythm, right? You need to say, raise your hands. Did you like that? So you want do you want something more from Perv? Do you want something yes, more from from Perv in the part in the next in the coming minutes? Raise your hands. You want some more doll from her later? And I'm sure you all going to fall in love with this girl. Uh, and she makes us proud. Way back, you know, way back there in England, you should see how people, how Indians, you know, work out their life to get where they are today. <laughs> 